Uh, Marcus, how have the preparations been uh, getting ready here for the Chargers this week? Uh, it's been great. You know, um, again, a couple days getting ready for these guys. I know for some guys it's kind of an unfamiliar opponent out of, out of conference, out of division. Um, but I've been very lucky to be in the division for the last couple of years against those guys. So um, just being able to communicate, understand the scheme, so that when we get out there and practice, guys are flying around. And uh, just a book on their defense, uh, you know, everybody knows about Khalil and Derwin James. Uh, who are some of the other players over on that side of the ball for them? Yeah, whether it's Kenneth Murray, whether it's um, Tranquil, um, you know, the two inside backers, I think that are playing really well. Um, you know, they're, they're out there flying around. Um, you know, on the back end, you know, everyone's dealing with injuries right now. Uh, Mike Davis right now is playing, I, th I think, pretty well as well. Asante Samuel is a great player that uh, finds, he's got a nose for the football. Mm -hmm. um, so we understand kind of the pieces that they have, and we just got to go out there and try to execute. Why do you think that this has started to work for you here? I don't know. I, I mean, I haven't really taken time to reflect on it. Um, just a lot of hard work, I feel like. A lot of faith in my process and my journey. Um, but really just a lot of belief from other people too, um, whether it's Coach Smith, whether it's this offense. Um, so I think just a combination of a lot of things have allowed us to play well and hopefully we can continue to do that. I mean, second chances, you are seeing you see it in Carolina, you see it in some other places, don't always have the, sto the ending that it seems like you may be having here. Like, is, does that, when you come here, does that play into your mind at all? Like, okay, this is a second chance. Like, how do you view that? I, honestly, I take it one day at a time. Um, you know, as cliche as that sounds, I try to stay present. I think more times than not, if you're focusing ahead or maybe too much on the scenario of what it really is, um, you tense up, you pressure out, and things don't really work out. So I really do my best of just focusing on today, being out there, going out to practice, executing, being the best version of myself. Um, and letting everything else fall into place. You talked a lot the last few weeks about, you know, getting comfortable and comfortability in the offense. When did, now that you're halfway through this season, when did that actually start to manifest where you're like, yeah, I, I get all of it, I understand it? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it, it took a few weeks, right? Like, not playing for a couple seasons, um, getting used to the speed of the game again, being out there calling plays, getting out there, being in situations, different scenarios. Um, to be able to experience kind of everything that we've done really through the course of those first month of the season, um, I got, I felt like I got to a point where I was really comfortable and um, it helps, right? Like the more you play, the more experiences, the more reps, um, the confidence builds, you get kind of a familiarity of what's going on. Um, so I think just from that standpoint is where I got to my point of being comfortable and confident. The, was there a game that, was it that week six game maybe, that, you know, when you only have thrown one in completion, was it there that you maybe started to feel it? Was it before that? Or? No, I would honestly, I would say it was before. Um, you know, I just think it's kind of accumulated over time. I can't give you a specific game. I think, um, you know, I try not to even really focus on the results. I just try to go out there and, and take it one play at a time. So it's hard to really pinpoint a specific time. I just really think over the course of the season, it's gotten to a point where I feel good. What, uh, <clears throat> what would getting Corderell Patterson back mean to the offense? Oh, huge, 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 right? Like a player like him, you need almost three other guys to fill his sp one specific role. So. He's a special type of player, um, a guy that we can really just lean on to make plays. Um, and if given the opportunity, if he is back, it's going to be exciting for us. In the uh, last couple of games, what uh, dimension has Demir Bird provided in the passing attack for you all? Definitely just a, a deep threat, a vertical presence. Um, you know, with the way that we run the football, the boxes that we're getting, um, mm -hmm to show on tape that we'll, we'll take shots, to show on tape that we'll convert those shots and make plays on the field is huge. Um, not only in the pass game, but also in the run game. Going back to kind of what we're about, when you come here and you're, like you said, it's a little bit before, like, is, is there any part of you that's like, this is maybe my last chance? Like, I know you've talked about that a few different times, mm -hmm. but like kind of maybe with a little bit more perspective now, where you are now versus Yeah, no doubt, ago. no doubt. Um, Really, when I was going into free agency, I kind of understood that if I got a chance to play again, it was really going to be probably my last shot. Um, most guys don't even really get a second shot, right? Like, um, so the fact of the matter is, when I did sign here, kind of understanding the situation where I was, um, knowing that, yeah, I got to play well to be able to, to not only keep this job, but you know, maybe have a, have a future here, um, was important to me. And I'm glad it is here with these guys. Um, with Coach Smith and, and this staff, because 
like I said from before, it was almost a point of just like redeeming myself from, from a previous stint that I wanted to come here and prove that I can do it. What is, that? What is it about the offense that you think makes you successful, that works for you the best? I think the versatility. I think, you know, we do a great job of, you know, hiding some of the run stuff that I do, but also like allowing me to kind of play free in the pass game, doing some different things, whether it's play action stuff, whether it's keepers, whether it's drop back. Um, so it's not necessarily like one specific thing. I think because we do a whole range of different things, it allows me to just kind of express my talents and do, do what I do. There were a number of different uh, times um, uh, during that last game where, and especially on your 30 yard run, where, where like, um, you see number five sprinting down the field, even though he doesn't have the, he doesn't have uh, uh, possession, still blocking and working hard. Like, what does that mean to you when you see a highly drafted guy working that hard, even though he doesn't have football? It means the world. And I really believe that's the culture that's built here. And, and really specifically, that's just who he is. Um, and that's really cool to be a part of. It's really cool to see a young guy like that. Like you said, a high pick, um, be unselfish. You know, it is such an interesting time in the NFL where, you know, guys, guys are almost like, hey, you want to be selfish. You want to take what is yours. Um, but what's cool about this group and what's cool about this team is we are an unselfish bunch, um, which makes it fun coming into work, being able to work with these guys and continuing to grow. So um, at the end, I really believe that that helps us be successful, but that's a credit to who he is and the kind of character he has. Do you guys feel like you almost take on, like, I don't know, like the underdog mentality? Like, a lot of people were counting this team out, and now you guys have proved them wrong and are not sitting at the top in the first place. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say it's necessarily that. I think I think guys just really believe in, in themselves. Um, more times than not, if you if other people don't believe in you, it don't really matter as long as you believe in yourself. And I think these guys really kind of embrace that. Um, saying that it's underdog mentality, it's kind of hard to say yes or no to that. I think really what it comes down to is guys really just kind of embrace this culture, um, embrace each other, and, and want to play hard for each other, which I think has been a difference. What kind of job have the running backs done, you know, uh, in, uh, in CB's absence, and what does he bring back to the offense? How he's in a lot of, or he could be in a lot of Yeah, our young backs have done an unbelievable job. Um, it's not easy. This is especially coming into your first season, really, of playing. It's, it's not easy to do what they've done. Um, they deserve a lot of credit for how well we've run the football, pass protection, um, creating plays also in the passing game. So, you know, at the end of the day, having a guy like CP is, is truly special because he does a lot of different things. But the role and these, what these guys have done, these young backs have done, uh, to fill that, that need have uh, really been good for us.